everyone, Cheryl here. Thank you for um, stopping by my channel and clicking on this video. I uh, wanted to take some time to do a little tutorial today to show you how to make uh, this. And this is um, a little calendar, yearly calendar, tearaway um, with a magnet on the back that is perfect for the fridge. And I had a couple people ask me if I could share with you how I made it. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I do a lot of things with chipboard. And chipboard is, um, it, this is, I think, medium weight chipboard. So it's got a pretty good thickness to it. Um, and it's good for all things. Like I made, I, I bought some post-it notes. They were on, on sale, I think at the dollar store or whatever. And, um, and so I use chipboard for the cover and then a little post-it note inside. And you can also put a magnet on this, stick it on the mirror or the mirror, stick it on the uh, refrigerator and you can have handy post-it notes. Or I like to put these in my purse uh, because the, the, uh, hard cover protects the paper from getting out all, if you've ever seen my purse, oh my Lord. So, um, I've done a handful of different things with chipboard and I just love working with it. You don't really need anything, any special tools. If you have a guillotine trimmer, um, like this one, um, it will work. I don't use this when I cut chipboard because I'm just worried it's gonna dull my blade and I wanna keep this really sharp for my more delicate papers. But um, I use a ruler and a craft knife. And I have a, um, what do you call one of those mats that are repairable or something like that? And so I just, I don't have to put anything special down. I just lay my chipboard down and I mark my measurements and cut away. So you're going to need some chipboard in various sizes. You can customize the size to whatever your project requires. Um, you're going to need some pattern paper. And I um, have mostly six by six pads, which is sometimes a bit of a challenge because a six by six pad wasn't big enough to cover this with the dark blue in the background. So I did have to piece it together, but you can't even see it. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, the 12 by 12 sheets work great if you have them. And I have a ton of them in my, my Washington home, but I'm not there right now. So I have a, a pretty limited supply of the pattern papers and they're all in the six by six. So I made it work. So whatever pattern paper you have, you're going to need. You're going to need some elements, depending on what your design is. Like I stamped and die cut a bunch of these guys and decided I was going to use them to make this. Um, and then you're also going to want to have some sort of sentiment in there. Or you could use a, a ephemera. Is that, am I saying that right? Um, it doesn't have to be hand stamped. It could be, you know, um, oh, I was going to show you uh, this. You could, I have a little Polaroid camera. Um, you could actually put a picture on, instead of flowers, you could put a picture and give it to somebody as friend, or as a gift. Um, and this one just has me and my girlfriend. It says hashtag friends on it. So I was going to do something with this too. So the sky's kind of the limit with whatever you want to do. Um, the other thing, you can purchase these. These are the little mini tearaway calendars. You can purchase these um, at Tailored Expressions in a 10-pack. And I forget how much they are, but they're not that expensive. But I've made my own. And again, I've got the chipboard back. I worked up a, um, a Word document as a template. And, I, and it took me, I don't know, maybe maybe an hour to do this template. Um, but I, you could, and this is just a post-it note on the front to uh, protect it. Um, but I'll tear that off when I'm done. And then um, you can add your own little things in like at, after the December month for this year, I put in a, ah, where are you? Yeah, so after you tear away December, you get this. And I just put in a Happy New Year 2021. And then under that is January 2021 to start. So this is a full year plus um, the six months, J July through December. Um, 
And this was easy to make, but I'm not going to go into how I do that in this video because it'll be super long. So, yeah, so I think that's just about it. Of course, you need some tape runner and some glue. Um, and so I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started making... Oh, I wanted to show you the other thing. Um, I colored this up really fast this morning and I cut. So I decided I was going to um, make a calendar board sheet using this stamp and then I'm going to fix the uh, calendar page there. And so this will all be covered with a background paper and this will be floating on top. So I thought that'd be cute too. Um, but I haven't picked up the background paper for that. So let me get myself organized here. We're going to do, I think, the red, this pink pattern paper with this red flower set. And then I think, oh no, I'd used that one already. I like this one too. And I think I'm going to use that as a sentiment and have that be down here. So. So that's basically what that's going to look like. And to do that, I cut this piece of chipboard um, to be a little over, it's like six and a quarter by three, um, because the, the calendar is exactly three inches wide. So the first thing you do is you set this stuff aside and um, glue your chipboard down. Now you can see this isn't long enough, so I'm going to have to um, do some paper piecing, but I think it will be fine. Okay, so my tape gun. And I don't put a ton of tape all over this because it's not going to come undone. So then I'm just going to send it. See, there's a little pole right here that I want to make sure is not on the front of my project. So I'm just going to put this here so I have the same um, width on each side. I'm going to just grab my scissors wherever that went. And I'm just going to cut this. Okay, then you just basically, you want to gently get these edges folded over. Like so. Okay, then I'm going to miter the edges so that it folds nicely. So you just clip off these corners and you leave a little bit like an eighth of an inch right there on the corner of the, whoops, like that. And um, I'm gonna glue these down. Like so. Helps to have a uh, little brown folder to Get it in there good. So this is the back of my project. Here's the front. Now I'm going to take this extra piece that I cut off and um, find the perfectly flat edge and line this up. And try to line the pattern up a little bit if you can. So that it doesn't look so off kilter. So there was some glue under there that I um, had from when I first put the uh, paper down, so I didn't have to re-glue it. So this should line up nicely, just like that. And then we're going to train that fold. Train that over like that. I'm going to trim off excess. I'm 
and then miter this edge. need a little bit of glue for this corner. It's pretty small. Come on. Nope, it's not going to work. It says not today. Where's my other glue stick? Hold this guy in here. I'm going to hold this guy over and hold it there for a second because the paper is pretty stiff. And we're going to put a coordinating piece of paper on the back to cover that up too um, when we're done, closer to being done. So you'll notice that you can see the paper seam. Um, I hope you can see it out of the light a little bit it's right here but that is where the calendar is going to go so nobody will ever know that's there okay so we're going to keep this handy and I said I was going to do the red and so now you just place everything on here where you want it and I kind of like that it's overlapping a little bit and then I was going to use I like that one, bloom with grace or whatever life plants you. So now we just have to, well, actually, let's put the coordinating piece on the back. And I didn't actually pick one of those out yet. So here, let's just do this real fast. How about these pretty flowers? Yeah, that corner is going to be little bit of a problem. Okay, so I'm going to cut right there on the edge of that hole that was punched in this paper to try to salvage as much of this pull sheet as I can. And then I'm just going to mark where I want it to cut down here. There, I think that's gonna be pretty. down there. Just right. There, so now you just have a solid piece of decorated paperboard. Um, and then I'm going to pop, this was kind of a pain doing all those, but I'm going to pop these up. Oh, and you also notice, I, um, this was a stamp layering set. Uh, I think it was pretty paint posh. Or paint fresh, maybe. I don't have it. Uh, yeah. It was this um, stamp set, sorry for the glare. And um, so you just layer in different colors. But what I did with this one is I took a couple of markers, coordinating colored markers, and just enhanced it and gave it some shadows. And then I outlined the little blue flowers and put white dots inside. So um, it just gives a little bit more of a realistic look. And I didn't do that yet on this one, and I'm actually not going to just to save time because you don't need to watch me doing that. Then I'm gonna take my handy um, stamp squares. And this is the tedious part. 
that you just start. I like to do these with it. Tweezers. And again, because this is going to be on the refrigerator, you don't have to have every square inch um, put put down with, with the adhesive. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. Then when I get to do the... Uh, sentiment, I will pop that up too. Just like so. Okay, so let's glue down this guy so that we know the area we're working with. Oops, glued my flower down on accident. There we go. Make sure that's on there straight. I think it's right. Now we're just going to I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here, right there. Oops. Make sure I have it straight. Then we need to put the magnet on the back. And I bought these the other day. They're for business cards, but I think they're gonna work. I didn't actually even open this yet. Mm, and these are pretty thin. Well, we'll just have to see. If not, we can always take it off and put on something stronger. I was worried that they might not be strong enough, so I did buy uh, this too, um, which is, you can see it's a little thicker, so you just have to, have to put a couple different pieces on. But anyway, we're gonna give this a shot, and I think it's got a sticky back on it. can take this off and you have a beautiful little refrigerator calendar that tears away and this one has the happy new year in it and then here's January all the way to December so um, if you want a tutorial on how to make these yourself these little calendar guys, just let me know. Um, I'd be happy to work one of those up too. That's it for now. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.